Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where and when you watch this video. Welcome to another episode of On the Road with none other than Luando. So, in this episode, we're going to talk about transportation bills. Because, I mean, in the previous episode, we touched on, you know, the airport, and also we touched on, you know, on the currency, and also what basics that you might need. So you might wonder what modes of transports are there for you in order to leave the airport, obviously, because you want to explore the city. We actually have a different number of ways for you to actually get out of the city. You might be looking for a cab or again, we do have private taxis. Um, some of them are actually, you know, approved by the airport. So you would see those as you're actually leaving, um, for example, your gates um, into the foyer. And then also in South Africa, we actually also do have Uber and then we also do have Bolt and InDrive. So those are the three that work. So if you have any of those, um, you can actually download and actually get to use them um, because, I mean, <laughs> they're convenient and it's something that you're actually more used to. Um, another form of transport actually in Cape Town, of which at the time of recording it's currently discontinued, is the My City Bus um, services, which actually starts usually travels from the airport. As you can see, this is the station, and the nice thing about it is for me actually it was very very convenient because it's right there. But again because we just came out of, uh, of the pandemic and then also the number of visitors to the city, you know, are slowly starting to rise, but, you know, it's been dwindling. So in order to save costs, they've actually discontinued the service until further notice. And hopefully by the time you do come, please know that that option might be there for you to use the MyCity. But then again, if you want to know about my, the MyCity bus services, um, please make sure that you are subscribed and like um, this channel because I'll be talking about that in depth actually in a later episode for you so another one uh, forms of transport that you can actually use it's actually for you to hire a car now when you hire a car in south africa especially if you come if you're not coming from like the uk uh japan or australia is that you might actually one thing that you notice is that actually the steering wheel in south africa it's actually on the right hand side you see right hand side um, of the car and then we also drive on the left hand side of the road so again the basic rule of driving in south africa is keep left pass right while we at that why don't then we first take the first mode of transport and talk more in depth about it and that is driving in cape town let's go so on today's episode we are touching on driving so basically when you are in south africa or in about is it 40 about 40 percent of the countries um basically are driving on the right hand side you know right uh so that's basically where we end um so as soon as you get to SA, one thing that you're actually gonna notice um is the fact that you know again um, cars here are traveling are basically they're on the left hand side of the road instead of driving on the right hand side um, of the road hence the steering wheel is on the right hand side um, so basically as soon as you try and drive around uh, I mean basically in Cape Town or anywhere else in South Africa is to actually try and the easiest way actually is to what you call follow the flow of traffic um you will see basically it's um it's called monkey see monkey do um well there are though one like a kind of vehicles that you should never follow on how they drive and those kinds of vehicles are what we call south african taxis you don't know about them here's an example
so as you can see, yeah, South African taxis, um, you know, they're a special kind of breed, basically. Um, so when, whenever you're driving around those, um, just, you know, be extra vigilant, be extra careful because they can, they're very unpredictable. Um, they can do, as you can see in some of the clips. Basically, another thing that we can touch on is that most of the roads actually in Cape Town, well, you know, contrary to popular belief, they actually, um, most of the roads are paved and, you know, it's usually a two-way traffic. There's cars, you know, going to the same direction as you and others are posing. So basically, it's just a matter of just um, following the traffic rules. What you call the road signs are um, much they're almost universal with almost all the countries but i think some european countries and also a bit of american will have slightly different but almost meaning the same um so uh so basically you do also have like your universal ones obviously like how um a stop sign looks like or yield sign looks like or do not park here um looks like so again in south africa we also use um kilometers um kilometers and meters so if for example you're navigating and you have a, a navigator i'll suggest that you actually switch it to um read out in kilometers and in miles because if for example uh, otherwise you'll be driving way too slow here because again you'll be driving you'll be thinking you're driving at 60 miles but you're driving at 60 kilometers um, and if you're on the freeway you'll definitely be fighting with people you have, with you driving 60 on a freeway so your, your typical speed limits that you'll find um, in South Africa oh this is actually a very nice sunrise this is actually at the time of recording this is exactly about 7 a.m. in the morning um so i'm in another location that i'll actually talk to you about in the late in later episodes and you'll find out which location is that um so one thing that you um some of the speed actually i digress some of the speed limits um typical speed limits that you'll find um in, in basically not just cape town but all over south africa is that when you're inside for an example busy towns because for an example cape town is some really small streets you know if you think about for example places like london um which the streets were created during carriageways then it will make sense why the streets are so tiny and which is why in south africa you can never have something like the ford f-150 because it will just be too big to fit uh, um in some of cape town cape town's iconic streets so you'd find that for example in most area some areas will have a speed limit of 40 kilometers an hour and this is what 40 kilometers an hour is in miles and then when you pro uh, an average one literally almost throughout the country that will be 60 kilometers an hour um, and also this is how, this is literally how um, the conversion from 60 miles to oh, sorry from 60 kilometers to a miles and then for example now when you go on to your nash um basically your regional or national or national roads uh some of the speed limits that you're likely to find it's 100 kilometers an hour and that one i know because that's 60 miles an hour and then the maximum that you can actually go <clears throat> legally in south africa it's 120 kilometers an hour and i think it's about yeah 75 miles but here's the correct um, conversion uh, rate so those are some of the things that you actually need to keep in mind um, while you're navigating um, around um, South Africa and when you're driving and now the Sun is shining on my face so, that works better okay another driving advice um, actually that I can give to you um but the basic ones basically is that obviously you know what the stop sign is and if or for an example you have been you um you haven't used a a traffic circle or a roundabout um as it's colloquially known um in some other places around the world um in south africa actually you give you yield basically to your right hand side 
so when you come to a a circle um just even if there's no other cars please slow down because you just never know you slow down then you look to your right and then if it's safe to do so you you may enter also if there's already someone inside the circle um or the roundabout you do not enter um so for me i actually find it does the one of the most uh convenient ways to move especially when in a traffic situation speaking of traffic in cape town what are the times for example you, you should avoid driving in so if you're going um inbound towards the downtown um cape town during the week between about 6 30 a.m till about 9 30 a.m try and avoid uh driving unless you want to be sitting in traffic um for usually an hour or even more um and then in the evenings um going outbound of the city um the cbd or downtown the times that you actually should try not to be on the road huh, get it on the road um it's from 4 30 so it's around from 4 30 um all the way up until 6 30 uh 6 7 30 uh 6 7 o'clock um, that way then at least the roads will be much 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 clear um, for you to drive around so because again Cape Town unfortunately um, is one of the most congested cities I think the actually congested um, city in the country which yeah that one is tough and yeah another thing actually that you shouldn't try and do um, is to try to do what I'm doing looking at a camera while I'm driving okay professionals you know like your car reviewers and stuff they can eat they can do it i'm not comfortable for me um doing it so if i'm doing it i'll usually just be recording myself and just looking in front or if i'm talking i'll just be talking looking at the road um so basically because i'm using two cameras actually to, to capture this so, so i have a, a dash cam which is facing forward and then i have uh my action camera which is uh, my daily camera that's actually facing me right now as we speak so once again i'd like to thank you deeply actually for taking the time to watch this episode all the way to the end and hopefully it was also informative and also very entertaining and please don't forget to like and also obviously subscribe to this channel because it, it only not only it's for free but it definitely does help to grow the channel and also you know for more people to get to see the content and get to know cape town thank you see you on the next one